welcome to the 2020 Summer Graduation Ceremony. Please stand for presentation of colors by the NJROTC of Booker T. Washington High School and the singing of the National Anthem by the Choir of Norview High School. Thank you to the talented, dedicated students and the leaders of NJROTC of Booker T. Washington High School and the director of Norview High School. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize a few distinguished guests. Dr. Sharon Birdsong, Superintendent of Norfolk Public Schools. Dr. Linnell Gibson, Chief Schools Officer. Dr. Michael Cataldo, Chief Information and Instructional Technology Officer. And Dr. Barbara Kimsey, Executive Director of Secondary Schools. Today, we are here to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of seniors who have worked so hard this summer to meet graduation requirements and earn their diplomas. We will now have the presentation of diplomas by Ms. Kim Singleton, the Grad Point Summer School leader, who will read the names. Brianna Jade Aquino, graduating with honors. Jaquez Desmanuel Butts. Janice Fatima Hinton. Daylon D'Angelo Jackson. Leilani Andrea Jones Beverly. Shannon Javon Mason. Aaliyah Ann Randolph. Tamar Noah Saunders. Ariana Gabrielle White. From Moy High School, Jeremiah Luis Quinones. Diamond Nicole Starks. From Norview High School, Freddie Wilmer Barrios. Tina Kelly Brazzi, Brianna Alfreda Connick Lamb, Sharia Zalika Freeman, Javon Antonio Chris, Caleb Anthony Richer, Jamika Amani Yancey Wesby, 
Janisha Ashanti Yancey Wesby. From Booker T. Washington High School, Kaim Daquan Johnson. From Lake Taylor High School, Sophia Loretta Visconti. Dr. Birdsong, I am ready to present and certify the graduates. I certify that you, the member of the class of 2020, have successfully met and completed all the state and local requirements necessary for graduation. Greetings to our parents and guardians, families, teachers, administrators, and staff, and most importantly, to the class of 2020. It is my distinct honor to celebrate with you during this historic summer graduation. As I understand, 21 seniors are graduating from a high school in Norfolk Public Schools after fulfilling their final requirements during the 2020 summer school program. I salute your tenacity and determination. The 2020 Norfolk Public Schools summer program had quite a diverse group of students who all had compelling reasons for taking this route to complete the requirements for their graduation. Some students chose to expedite their graduations by taking required courses ahead of time. Other students had to overcome significant challenges along the way to ensure they made it to that K-12 finish line known as graduation. Either way, I hope you celebrate this moment with a sense of great pride and accomplishment. Students, you have worked so hard to get where you are, and never before has a graduating class been so recognized by the public as yours. The world is watching how you have adapted to the life as it is today, and how you move forward from here will speak volumes about your resiliency, flexibility, and tenacity. Granted, COVID-19 has changed your lives in historic ways, but I know you have not let it dampen your spirits or shatter your determination to make progress, and even better, to make your mark on this world. You did not get to this point because you passively accepted the setbacks and disappointments you experienced along the way. In fact, you got to this moment because you climbed over obstacles to continue your journey toward completion of your high school requirements. Even though I stand in a studio speaking to a camera rather than looking into your faces, I know without a doubt how much courage it's embodied in this class of 2020. In fact, I want to share two examples that speak poignantly of your collective spirit of determination. Shariah Freeman started at Granby High School fully engaged academically and socially. At the end of her sophomore year, she and her family moved to a different part of Norfolk and Norview High School became her home school. Shariah didn't let the change daunt her. She continued on the path of being a good and conscientious student. But as we all know, sometimes life can throw us curveballs. In December of her senior year at Norview, a new career opportunity for Shariah's mother took the family to Georgia. Shariah was distressed about leaving Norview. After all, besides having good friends there, she only needed two credits to graduate from high school. When her family arrived in Georgia, Shariah was hit with a crushing blow. Because of the difference in the school year schedule and the school division's policy, she would not be able to graduate in Georgia in June of 2020. So Shariah and her family developed a new game plan, one that would allow her to return to Virginia to live with her grandparents so that she could finish her high school requirements. The very week Shariah was due to return to Norfolk Public Schools, the schools were mandated to be closed. Undismayed, Shariah and her family reworked their plan and decided she would start anew in the summer session and earn her diploma from the only school division she has known, and that's our outstanding school division, Norfolk Public Schools. Think of the many challenges Shariah had to overcome to get to this point. She is most certainly well positioned to succeed in life 
because she knows the value of adaptability and tenacity. Shariah plans to start college in the spring to study psychology. Like Shariah, Ariana White has a strong connection to Norfolk Public Schools. She attended James Monroe and Tidewater Park Elementary Schools, completed her middle school education at Ruffner Middle, and started high school at Booker T. Washington during her freshman year, and then finished her last three years at Granby High School. While attending high school, Ariana had to endure two major tragedies. Her mother passed away in 2017, and then in April of this year, her grandmother passed away. Both her mother and grandmother had encouraged Ariana to continue pursuing a high school diploma. She held those words in her heart and carried on despite her grief. And so now Ariana is making good on her promises to the two women she dearly loves as she officially becomes a graduate of Norfolk Public Schools. In addition, she says that the presence of another caring adult had an impact on her life. Ariana points to her history teacher, Mr. Dunkley, as having the ability to make her laugh on days that were tough for her. She said Mr. Dunkley gave her confidence that her future was bright. Today, Ariana rewards Mr. Dunkley's confidence in her. He and the staff of Granby High School are proud of Ariana for her true grit during the toughest of times. Ariana now has a goal of attending medical school and pursuing a career in medicine. Like Shariah and Ariana, all of you can and I know will take the lessons learned from tragedy and unfortunate events and move forward with purpose even during a pandemic, especially during a pandemic. COVID-19 has indeed been a tough, demanding teacher. Here in Norfolk Public Schools, we have had to learn how to more effectively teach children in ways that are far from traditional. And you, our students, have had to adapt to learning in a manner that no other generation before you has had to do. But I trust you have learned an important lesson during this time. You have a goal of major importance in your life. Nothing can stop you from achieving it if you set your mind and heart on it, just like Shariah and Ariana have shown us. You are like no other graduating class in the history of this country. We have had to overcome unprecedented challenges even before you left the structured life of high school. Today, you stand on the brink of new endeavors, be that college, the military, a career field, or travel. You have proven you have what it takes to move ahead. In the words of Oprah Winfrey, your life journey is about learning to become more of who you are and fulfilling the highest, truest expression of yourself as a human being. Again, I congratulate you, as well as your family and friends who have supported you throughout your high school career and throughout your career in education. Expect great things, and even more importantly, do great things. Humankind is counting on you. I now proudly accept graduating class, this graduating class of 2020. And by virtue of the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the school board of the city of Norfolk with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereto pertaining, I hereby declare this class of 2020 graduates of Norfolk Public Schools. Congratulations and best wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our commencement exercise. Have a great afternoon and thank you for watching.